Well, hello, my friends. Uh, today we are going to make the application that localize the image depends on the target language. So before I already made a translation application for just the text. So this is that uh, tutorial. But in this video, more than just the text, we will also localize the just the image. So if you see this application, when I click the different language, so I even change the image like this, not just for the text. So without further ado, I'm just going to start coding. So first, I'm going to start from the application we just made in here in this video. So I'm going to first uh, uh, download it and then I will explain it how this application is structured. It is really simple. So first, uh, I put the a file I just downloaded from the repository uh, inside a text editor like this. So first I'm going to just uh, run this application to let you see how uh, it looks like. So, But to run the application I need to download the uh, dependencies that is in the package.json like i18 next, i18 next browser, language detector and XHR backend and then React i18 next. So we need this i18 next module so for this translation application. So after downloading all of them, so uh, I'm going to just uh, run application npm run star. So now you can see this application by clicking different buttons. We can change the language. So if you see inside the SRC, you can see the file named the i18n.js. This is all the configuration for the i18 next module. You can see the fullback language. If there is no language available, we will just use the English language. And then we need to specify the available language we want to use for the translation. In here, English and Korean and Chinese. And more options in here. So, and if we come inside the public further, you can see the locates further. And there is the translation JSON file for each of the language like Korean and English and Chinese. So if we come to app.js, so there is a rendering part that we can show in our browser here. So this part is the this part. So, uh, but inside the JSON file, if we change the uh, hello like this and we come back in here and then refresh the page so we can see this hello so by changing the uh, JSON file uh, we can actually change the language so if we come back to the app.js so we will use the i18 next module in here import it and then by using the uh, change language method Whenever we click the button, we can change the language. And then by using this T function that comes from IAT Next, uh, we can just uh, do it like this. So you can see the thanks.1. So if we see the JSON file, you can see thanks.1. So in this flow, this IAT module is executed. So now what we need to do is we need to put the image in here and we even change the image uh, depends on the targeted language like this. So this is actually really simple. So first come back in here. We need to put the uh, image inside uh, our application. So I already put the image in here for the Chinese and Korean and for English. So I put all of them inside in this source folder. So I've uh, made the folder named uh, SS. And then inside the SS, I also made one more folder named images. But in here, I want to explain why I put these static files this image file inside the src not inside the public folder so if we come in this diagram so we normally import the static files like this 
this this is actually recommended by the React team. So when we import the image inside the React JS, uh, we do it like this: import and then give the name of the a variable for this image, so we can tell Webpack this JS file uses this image. But if we put the image uh, outside of SRC folder, the Webpack doesn't actually work. And Webpack only works inside the SRC. So uh, there is a question, why Webpack needs to handle these static files? So there is some explanation for that in here. So first, the good thing is the scripts and the styles get minified and bundled together to avoid extra network request. And missing files cause a compilation error instead of 404 errors for your users. So what is the compilation errors? So let me just uh, do something in here like this. And if we try to save it, we get this error. This one is the compilation error. So and uh, the 404 error for not found. And lastly, the wizard file names include content hashes. So you don't need to worry about browser caching their old versions. So if you don't know what is a wizard file names, if you come inside in here, uh, after Webpack handle the this logo.png. Originally, this one's name is logo.png, but after getting handled by Webpack, this name changed into logo. Dot, uh, something 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 and dot .png. So this one is the wizard file name. So I also want to know what is the content hashes. So this says, uh, it, it includes content hashes, so I don't need to worry about browser caching. So what does it mean? First, I want to know about the hash. Hashing is a mathematical function. The hash function output is always the same size. A very small change uh, in the input creates a larger change in the output. So I'm just going to generate the hash with the MD5 in here. So if I type just a uh, high and then I will generate it. So I got the hash by typing this high and then I try to uh, type this high again to generate the hash. I got uh, actually the same hash again from this high. But if I type high and then dot, and then generate it again. So you can see this hash becomes totally different even though we just put only one dot at the end of this text. So you can just see a very small change in the input creates a large change in the output for hash. So okay, uh, but what is good with hash? So one part of the static file handled by Webpack is a hash. So we saw uh, this name, original name was the logo.png, but after getting handled by Webpack, uh, we put this hash uh, inside this name. So hash is one part of the name. So whenever we uh, change Whenever we make small change in the content of the file, we actually change the hash. That means we also change the name of the file. So every version of the file has its own unique name. So our static file can be cached forever. So what is good of caching? So by caching our static file, we can actually load the static file way faster because it is already cached. So that is why uh, it is good to put the static file uh, inside the SRC folder. So we need to keep going to make our application. So we already put the images in here and we need to import the uh, image like this. Import the image variable and then from the image. So first image uh, in from for the English 
we get it from the assets and images and what is the name of the that image a uh, thanks and thanks and in mpng and import the image the korean version from uh, assets and image and thanks and code.png and lastly import the image uh, assess images and things uh, China PNG like this we imported all the images in here and now it's time to just uh, put the image uh, in here instead of just a normal logo we got from the react we just uh, delete this part too so now we need to make this source uh, conditional when we click the Korean we need to see this Korean image and when we see this one Chinese image and English image so we need to make this one conditional so first uh, how we make it conditional is the, if we come to the website and then if we go to the application tab here application tab and then go to the local storage you can see this key and value of the i18 next language and then english but if i click the korean so you can see this value has changed into korean and click the chinese or you can see this chinese so by using this one the story in the local storage we will make it conditional so it is like this local storage get item and then i18 next and lng if this one is uh en like this one en so we will make we will use this uh image english but if this one is not en uh we can also do this again get item and if this one is korean i need to do it like this so you can see the whole line uh, not not co cool, i'm sorry i18 next then again so if this one is the uh co cool, we need to uh, bring this korean image but ah need to give this one korean image uh, if not we only have one image left that is for the chinese so we can do it like this so i save it i come back to our application so here you can see this application so i try to click the different language so korean and chinese uh, like that so it works really well so thank you for watching this video and i hope you will have a nice day and see you in the next video thank you